rear view mirror. Simple, effective technology. A piece of glass inside a steel or a plastic housing. Works perfectly, requires no maintenance, doesn't cost a lot. How can you improve on that? Well, it turns out you can improve on that technology. And the way it's being done is the way everything else is changing on our equipment through digital technology. Yes, rear view mirrors are going digital. Ford just introduced uh, a digital internal rear view mirror up on the head uh, console in its cargo van. There would be no point in having a mirror there. Typically on a cargo van, you've got solid doors behind you, you wouldn't see anything. But it works the same way a backup camera does, except the image now appears where you'd find an image in the rear view mirror. Of course, General Motors went to a similar system for trailer towing. Put a camera on the back of the trailer, shows up on the dash, looks like the trailer's invisible. Heavy trucks are going that way too. Kenworth just announced its new T680 will be available with digital rear view mirrors. And you can see how they would be an improvement. Um, they can be set to track the movement of the rear trailer. So the mirror would actually change its position, allow you to follow the rear end of the trailer. That would make blind side backing pretty easy. And of course they have night vision, making, you, making it possible to see a trailer in the dark, which with a rear view mirror, a normal rear view mirror, in the dark, can't see much back there. Of course, one of the questions is, how much maintenance is this system going to require? Broken mirror, well, just go to a glass shop and a few bucks will get a replacement or go to Princess Auto and buy a whole new one, bolt it back on the side of your truck and you're good to go. But a digital one, going to a shop, paying 140 bucks an hour shop fee plus parts, if parts are available, to get you back going. So digital mirrors may be great, they may offer all kinds of advantages. Of course, as always, technolo with technology, the downside is failure and replacement costs and time. Well, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Be sure to come back soon to Ag Dealer TV for more news and information in the ag equipment world.